In this video, we'll take a look at what is BusyBox and we'll see it in action through a few demos. So first off, uh, the best way to probably describe BusyBox is that it's a single large uh, executable file containing several stripped down versions of uh, popular Unix tools. Um, so as an example, uh, when you run BusyBox, you can see here, these are the the stripped down versions of uh, some of the popular Linux and Unix commands. So for example, copy command, uh, list commands, make directory, and several other hundreds of uh, commands uh, that you're probably already familiar with in Linux. Uh, basically, BusyBox packages all these commands into a single uh, executable file. Now, uh, the first question you might ask is, hmm, all right, if that's the case, why would uh, we want to take all these files and package it into a single executable? Well, several reasons come to mind. So typically in case of embedded devices, um, which have very low memory resources as well as storage resources, it's a good idea to package all of these commands into a single large executable as opposed to individual files. Uh, again, um, when you build or when you compile BusyBox, you can specify all the commands. So in this particular example that you're seeing here, there are several hundreds of commands, but you can compile it so that it might just have just one or two commands there. So again, you get all the benefits of uh, the core functionality available in Unix and Linux platforms in a single executable file. It's also very popular, uh, particularly on the Android platform. Uh, if you wanted to have uh, or introduce the mechanism to run various Linux commands, uh, you can install uh, the BusyBox uh, app uh, from Google Play. Uh, and also, it's not just about embedded devices or smaller footprints. Uh, typically, most Linux operating systems, they actually do utilize the capability of BusyBox, uh, typically during the init process uh, before the full operating system is loaded. And if they need to run any of these particular commands, that's uh, typically where BusyBox is used. And also, uh, it's used heavily in uh, Linux distributions, uh, which have a small footprint. Uh, so as an example, a very popular um, Linux distribution, particularly in the world of uh, Docker and microservices, is uh, to use Alpine Linux. And Alpine Linux basically has an extremely small footprint. Uh, and part of the reason it has that is uh, because it, it utilizes BusyBox um, uh, to enable all of these various commands. And uh, we'll see that in action. So let's dive in and see some uh, examples of uh, BusyBox. All right, so I have these two panels here. On the top, uh, have an example of uh, Alpine Linux that we just spoke about. And here at the bottom is um, we have uh, Ubuntu running. Uh, so first off, let's run BusyBox. All right, so when I run BusyBox, you can see if I go all the way to the top and kind of compare, you can see that um, though the versions are different, um, the way it was compiled and built uh, is uh, reflective of um, some of the commands that have uh, been included. So as mentioned, uh, not it's not necessary that um, BusyBox show you all the commands um, um, consistently across platforms. So here you can see that we've uh, got a few hundred commands here as well as for Ubuntu, we've got a few other commands. So in case of Ubuntu, um, as examples, um, let's say, uh, like here we have, uh, because Ubuntu is based on top of Debian, uh, there are some uh, utilities available to work with Debian packages, which obviously is not required in case of Alpine. So again, you can see that uh, different vendors typically club in different uh, commands. Uh, obviously, you can build your own uh, BusyBox by choosing all the particular commands that you would want to include. Um, so speaking of commands, so if I type in busy box um, list it should give us a list of all the commands and, and uh, let's just pipe that to count um, so again we can see that in case of alpine there are 306 uh, various uh, commands uh, whereas in case of the ubuntu there's only 215 so again it gives you an idea that uh, different uh, companies or different distributions of uh, linux might uh, package um, uh, different commands um, so then moving on, let's actually see how BusyBox uh, works in action. So as an example, since we have been, uh, uh, if we wanted to use a simple command like ls uh, to list a folder, so let's actually see where ls is um, the actual uh, binary or the uh, file resides. So here you can see in both these two cases, it's, uh, it's in bin, uh, in the bin folder, but uh, let's actually see um, how it's built or how it's wired up. So let's actually ls-l. Um, 
Okay. Um, so if I if I show you how it's actually wired up, so here you can see that in case of Ubuntu, we actually have an executable file. So let's uh, make it more human readable. Um, so here we can see that we have um, ls on Ubuntu, uh, which the, um, the actual executable, the binary file itself is around 108 KB, uh, whereas in case of um, um, Alpine, you can see that it's, um, it's not actually a physical file, it's actually um, a sim link. And the way it works is uh, BusyBox, if you were to uh, type BusyBox and type uh, the command, so when we type busy, box. Uh, what's going on with my spellings today? All right, so if we type in busy box and the, the command we want to run, it internally runs that command. Um, so you can see that busy box ls basically behaves just like uh, an ls command. So busy box ls and you can specify, say, um, um, the folder and uh, this is pretty much how it would um, work in if you were just to type ls and that's basically what uh, organizations or distributions do with busybox they create a sim link with the name of the command which actually gets piped into a busybox so as an example if we go to the bin folder uh, and uh, take a look at uh, the files there so let's uh, see here you can see that in case of um, Ubuntu, we have um, hardly any sim links pointing to, uh, or uh, for that matter, no sim links uh, pointing to BusyBox itself, but whereas in case of Alpine Linux, we can see that uh, pretty much um, all the main functionality, like we just saw uh, the ability to list uh, directories, uh, the ability to make directory, uh, copy files, and various other Unix commands are all uh, leveraging BusyBox. So even things like, say, for example, Echo. Uh, so whereas in case of uh, standard Linux distributions, each of these uh, have their own executable files. And in general, these executable files um, are for a standard server slash desktop operating environment, uh, these are all in the smaller MBs uh, to KBs, and that's not a problem. But again, if you use BusyBox, we can utilize it in um, a, a single file. However, having said that, uh, not um, it's it's not exactly the same uh, like um, uh, an ls command in case of uh, uh, Ubuntu or in case of any other full-fledged desktop or server environment will come with a lot more features than a stripped-down version of BusyBox. But then there's obviously a trade-off. BusyBox does include all the most popular parameters for the various commands. So that sums it up for what BusyBox is. I uh, hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.